So how exactly are journal entries made? And you can refer to page 91 in your book. Except for the format, recording transactions in the two column journal is just like recording transactions in T accounts that we learned about in chapter 2. We analyze the transactions just like we did in chapter 2 and the accounts are identical whether it be cash, rent expense, whatever. But rather than directly recording the debit part in one T account and the credit part in another T account, both the debit and credit are recorded together. So, there's a format for making journal entries. And you might be wondering, debits or credits, which comes first? When we record journal entries, the account being debited is always listed first on the first line and then we follow it with the credit account and the credit account is always indented to the right. So when we record our journal entries we also list a brief explanation and there's no set format to the brief explanation it just should be brief and easy to understand so short and to the point. Now if the um, transaction is obvious like you know rent and cash then you may not have to record the purpose of the entry but um, while you're learning it's a good idea to practice on it and just keep in mind that, San that SNAP may not record a transaction the same way that you do but keep in mind you can go ahead and fill in the, the description the way that you interpret it and when you submit your homework through SNAP then he'll show you the way that he wants it written and then you just correct it and submit a second time. So let's look at some examples. In this first one Alice starts an accounting business by investing 5000 in the business. So you know when an owner invests 5000 in the business that's going to be an increase to the cash account because if you and I receive $5,000 that's going to increase our, our cash, right? So assets are increased with debits and cash is an asset account. We also have to look at our capital account and it's also being increased. It's an equity account and equity accounts are increased with credits. So when we record this you see we put the date, we put cash, and we debit. And keep in mind the debit is always listed first and you notice that we have indented the credit and listed it on the second line and then we have a brief description. 